All right, what's up, what's up? Welcome back for another recap video. Today is the end of September for the traders. Uh, finishing green for the end of September. Finishing green, uh, mostly traded uh, FEMY, this choppy ticker. This is the choppiest ticker ever. Um, literally has been in play for about three or four days. It's just so, so choppy. Uh, but yeah, finishing up, was able to capture some green up 89.22. Um, pretty much just one trade out of the open on FEMY, and that was it. I uh, didn't really trade much after that. I wanted to lock up a, a green day today um, for the month of September. <clears throat> and September was an interesting month uh, for me. Um, but yeah, FEMY, pretty much the first one minute candle, um, catching a break of two and then adding back for the break at pre-market highs, but very, very choppy, um, very choppy price action. Even though this candle looks like it was strong right out of the gates, it popped up and pulled all the way back down before coming all the way back up. Very, very, um, tricky price action for FEMY. We also had some other stocks on watch. BTCT. This one um, tried to buy a pullback here off of VWAP to look for a curl back up and break this trend line. However, we did not get that at all. Um, I actually it flashed down even farther and took a small loss there. Um, ICU. ICU is another one. Um, ICU is another one. Uh, tried trading the second pullback here. For a higher low potential curl up, but uh, kind of just started to fade. So no gains on that one either. Uh, so FEMY was the only one that was really in my wheelhouse uh, somewhat and was able to capture some green. So that was it for today. Not really much to recap. Uh, yesterday was another interesting one. Um, I did not have any really serious trades yesterday, but there was a massive massive runner i was at bnox yeah this one yesterday holy crap i woke up around 8 30 so pretty much after all that price action is done but yeah this thing ran from one dollar all the way up to 784 completely missed it i know some traders who absolutely tore it up on that stock but um i didn't really have much uh, price action to trade off of on bnox i tried catching some dips but we never really got any pop Yesterday I finished up $11, so pretty much break even, um, and that was it. That was a wrap for yesterday. Didn't really trade at all. Um, to just go over the month, um, so the month is looks pretty good. So on the month we only had one red day. Um, nothing, you know, nothing too crazy as far as gains, <clears throat> but this is a great example of. You know, the market was slow this month. There wasn't a lot, a whole lot of opportunity consistently in the month of September. But it's a perfect example of focusing on the best setup of the day, the best stock of the day, knowing the best setups that you trade, the best time that you trade, time of day that you trade, and really narrowing and focusing on that, getting green and getting out and staying consistent. Because a lot of these days were very small. A lot of these days were under $100, but um, uh, all of these days adding together, adding up, adding up, adding up, it turned out to be a pretty decent month, um, about $1,788 in profit for the month of September, which was bigger than my previous months in August and bigger than my previous month in July. Um, so while it wasn't my biggest month ever or something, you know, completely, you know, amazing that's, you know, that's, yeah, my biggest month, it wasn't really my biggest month ever, but it was my best month as far as consistency throughout the year. Uh, previously, I had May, which was my, one of my bigger months as well, um, and only two red days. But yeah, I, I uh, beat that by only having one red day this month, and I'm definitely proud to to you know, be confident that I do have a solid foundation. I have developed a solid foundation to be able to 
fall back on and know that I can be consistent as long as I am following my rules, trading the best time of day that I trade at and trade the best setups every single day and not just a bunch of chop, you know, and I'm willing to walk away at 9.45 or 10 o'clock Eastern time um, rather than sitting and trying to maximize my profits on the day, which a lot of the times ends up with giving back profits. So um, I'm definitely, you know, this month definitely showed me that I do have, you know, a solid foundation to work on. And then with that solid foundation, I can size up and, you know, push myself from there. <clears throat> and, you know, when you do start to size up, um, it's very important that you have a solid foundation first. I know a lot of traders like to size up for the to, just to make that uh, more gains, to make more gains, but they don't have a solid foundation because um, if you, whenever you size up, if you don't have a solid foundation, in times of stress, in times of you know hot markets, high volatility, high risk, high reward types of plays, when the hot market comes around and there's a lot of stress, we always you know, you know, you always tend to revert back to your habits that you've had uh, up until that point. And if you don't have any good habits, you're just going to wipe out in a hot market. Um, so it's really important to develop a good foundation, knowing that in times of stress, uh, you will revert back to good habits rather than bad habits. Um, so I'm really happy with uh, my consistency in the month of September. Um, yeah, I, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I know a lot of traders have been struggling this month. And uh, mostly, I would say, from my point of view, you know, may be right or may be wrong. Um, a lot of the traders that have been struggling are the ones that are sitting down and trading all day long or more than just, you know, an hour or two when the market is giving good opportunity. Um, and, you know, if you're trading all day long, it's just your market exposure is so big in a market, uh, in the environment, a market environment that is just not uh, a risk on environment. Uh, this is a sort of market environment where you want to minimize your time in the market, minimize your risk in the market uh, and just try to get green and get out. Uh, I hope it does turn around for October, or November, December. I hope it's more of a risk on environment. And you, you know, the longer you trade, the longer you sit down at your desk and the more size you put on, the more money you're going to make. But uh, we're not entirely sure. You know, you just have to take it as it comes. Hopefully we get into an environment like that. And then that's when you can really push your share size. That's when you can really, you know, trade from pre-market to four o'clock Eastern time. Uh, and maximize your gains. But right now we're just not in that market. Uh, so that's why it's very important to really narrow in on what you perform best at, the time frame that you perform best at, the time of day, um, your setups, and only stick to that. Get grain and get out. You know, one good trade a day is perfect. Two good trades a day is perfect. You don't really need to be sitting around all day um, looking for uh, opportunities in this market um so that's that's really the way that i the approach that i took this month and it seemed to have paid off um with a nice solid uh green month so thank you guys for tuning in for this video i hope you guys got some value or just you know some entertainment of uh or insight of where i am at in my trading uh check out the links down in the description you guys can join the discord channel you guys can sign up for trade journal which is this site right here where you can journal your trades for free um, you can also sign up for um, uh, other add-ons like ai assist you can sign up for mentor content and you can sign up for joining our community uh, which is a small tight-knit community where you can learn one-on-one -on -one with profitable traders so you guys can check that out as well links will be in the description Check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.